expecting Quetzalcoatl will get hit points and vitality, along with a whole host of abilities that we can learn. And now we conjunction magic to those two uh, stats. Okay. I think I've just about got the gist of this. Right, can we finish the tutorial now, please? Yeah, sadly, like I said, there is no way to skip these. That is something I remember from a long, long time ago. And this won't be the last tutorial either. If I remember, there's a couple of tutorials you get the choice of not doing. But that's about it. GF and item are set. Oh, it has to go into every little detail. It just drags the thing out, doesn't it? Come on. Please. Have mercy. Yes. Yes. The tutorial has been concluded. I don't think I'll be rushing uh, back to the menu to see that tutorial, if you don't mind, Quistis. Once we get to the fire cavern, I'll explain how to junction magic. I cannot wait for that. Use the command to draw during battles and stock magic from your enemies. Make sure you're nicely stocked. Uh, right then, junction. We'll give them one each. Hmm. He can have Shiva. Can we give him anything yet? Nope. Obviously we haven't drawn anything, so that would make sense. Uh, right, magic, GF, draw. And Quistis, Quetzalcoatl. Hmm, we'll give a draw as well. I'll tell you what though, it seems pretty pointless giving them a... Uh, Let's get back to there. Uh, giving them magic at the minute because we're not going to be using it. So we'll give them item. Same for Squall, I would say. Mm. You've got to actually equip and unequip. I don't remember do, having to do that before. In order to get to this, maybe you have. Right, that'll do. And it's the funky world map. Uh, how can we adjust the view here? Not by opening the menu. Oh, there we go. And it's this way to the fire cavern, I'm pretty sure about that. And it's our first battle. Ba -bum 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 -ba -bum -ba -bum -bum -bum. Oh, that's not very pleasant. B6, which is B6. We're going to have to... Uh, teach ourselves which B6s. Right, so school you can attack. Is this B6? Yes, I think that is B6. Right, then you can draw. We're going to have to start stocking up our magics. This is what I don't like about this game. This is tedious. Well, they've got a few uh, hit points, haven't they, for the first enemies in the game. Oh, we need to stick this on uh, memory. Yeah, we definitely need to stick this on memory. Is he dead now? Enemies actually have death animations. That's more than they had in Final Fantasy VII, in all fairness. Definitely more. Right, so what the first thing I need to do after this battle is over 
is head on to the menu where I can set the cursor to memory. What that'll do is allow us to draw a lot easier ha rather than having to go through the menu each time. Although Christus has got quite a few fires now on her person. But like I said, this is why the game encourages you not to use your magic. Because we're going to equip her fire now. Or junction it rather. But what that's going to do is increase her stats. Which in turn means we're not going to want to use those magics. Otherwise the stats will go down. Right, that's a junction magic. And we're going to boost that up to 9. Her 30. And I just want to see, are the GFs actually learning abilities yet? Yes, they are. We could learn magic plus 20. Which I don't see the point if we're not going to be using magic. So yeah, we'll go for some magic plus 10%. And what's Shiva on? Or what's Shiva learning, rather? Some magic plus 10%? What does Boost do? Boost GF. We'll go for Boost. See, look, I'm just reminding myself of the whole menu system in this game. Uh, right, we'll increase battle speed a little bit. Battle message. We can keep up. Uh, ATB, weight, uh, cursor, memory, that's what we wanted. And we have our next enemy encounter. That was like three spaces, wasn't it, of movement before we actually did that. Ah, and we've got a, a new caterpillar here. A new monster type. So now we're going to have to spend time drawing. And this is exactly what I was speaking about when I said, oh, cure, that's useful. Uh, that the game encourages you, well, the, not to uh, cast. But also it encourages you to spend a long time in battle drawing. So a couple of downsides there. And I'm thinking that's why this junction system was never even hinted at. Uh, or not so much the junction system, but the draw system was ever so much as hinted at in uh, Final Fantasy games that came after this. Now, even though our health is dropping, we can actually draw and cast a cure at the same time. If I was going to play without live streaming, I'd probably try and stock up at as, uh, as 100 magics on pretty much all the magics we come across. But seeing as how that's just going to get tedious for those who are watching, I'm not going to do that. But I am going to do it on a few of them, just for uh, power's sake, so that we can equip those or junction those magics to boost our power. Now you can draw between 2 and I think it's 9 uh, magics at a time but the uh, the higher level you are compared to the magic you're drawing depends on how many you will take although it is still random if that makes sense. So we've got 6 there but if we were a lower level or a higher level, then we'd probably get less or more, most of the time, if that makes sense. I think it does. You see four thunders. Right, how much have we got of these? Ah, uh, because I haven't got magic equipped, there's no way of knowing until it stops drawing. Which it's not doing yet. Yeah, you can carry on doing that. But we're going to cast this on Quistis this time. But it's one we're drawing from the monster. Rather than one that we're casting from our own stock. And we'll cast on Squall. Okay, someone says it's not random, the amount you get. But it's depending on your magic score. Or your magic stats, I guess they mean. Um, yeah, I actually thought that, but I thought that it, there's still an element of randomness to it. Like, we're not getting the same amount each time we draw here, are we? So there has to still be an element of randomness to it. Bum, bum, bum. Right then. 
like I say, I won't be doing this on every time, it, uh, every uh, magic we see anyway. Unless it's a powerful magic, of course. And Cure's always good to have. Seven Cures. The maximum you can get... Uh, oh, I can't remember now, it's been so long since I played. 99 or 100. I think it's 100. Yep, yeah, very true. The higher the magic stat, then the better the amount you'll get. In fact, I remember from when I played this game before, and it was a long time ago, that if you try and draw, if you draw low level magics, and you've got a high magic stat, then uh, you'll just get like nine all the time. I think it's nine is the maximum. Right. Okay. Christie's can attack then. I don't know if uh, Thunder's going to do a whole lot, but we'll forget that. She will cure. Since we're going into the fire cavern now. Right, Squall is not quite maxed out yet on cures. So we'll carry on casting those there. And heal Squall up as well. Ah, there we go. And we'll gunblade this thing. There we go. Uh, best cure him again, because I think he's... Taking a bit of damage there, isn't he? If we can save our potions or our cure magics, then that would be good. Ultra waves. Ah, there's a new ability. I guess it only does it when it's damaged. Oh, it's like a berserk mode. Very good. Is it dead? Yeah. Oh, right, and Quistis has now got a limit break. Oh, before we do anything, let's do some junctioning very quickly. I know it's not the most exciting thing to watch. So we'll get rid of that fire. Throw on a thunder. And... Same with Squally Boy. He can have a cure. His spirit will go up. How much potions have we got? Six. Okay. Oh, that's a good point. We should save before we go in, really, shouldn't we? Just in case the worst comes to the worst. Oh, well, no, we've just done Junction in Magic. I know how to do it. I've just proved to the game I can do it. Please don't give me another 10 minute tutorial. So basically, we're just going to learn now exactly what we just did. How to junction magic. I wish there was an option to turn these tutorials off, I really do. You're able to junction magic by selecting magic. Yep, yeah, seen all this. Thank you. The thing is, this isn't even our characters because we haven't even drawn those magics. You definitely can't skip here. Definitely. I think there's like, if I remember, one or two tutorials that you get the option before they take place of not watching them. But the ones that you have to be forced to start with, you can't stop then. Maybe you could on the PlayStation 1, but... Sadly, you can't uh, on the PC. When you draw a new magic, try experimenting with it when you junction. This is how you become stronger. Yes. See, look, there's one you can skip. Alright, let's go. It is a shame that magic boosts your stats up because... It would be fun to be able to cast your magic, but sadly when you do so, your stats low if they're junctioned, if those magics are junctioned. Our objective, to obtain a low level guardian force, a seed member must support. Well, Quistis will be our support. Are we ready? Yes, we are. And we're going to go for the hardest difficulty. Quistis Trep. 
10 minutes is plenty of time. I don't think it makes any difference which time.